What's up guys, welcome to the Meeple Minded YouTube channel, my name is Jason and today we are checking out this, it is the brand new game from The Op, also known as USAopoly, The Batman Who Laughs Rising, it is the latest in the Rising series of games, obviously we started with the initial game being Marvel Thanos Rising with the Infinity Gems, followed by the Harry Potter version of Death Eaters Rising then followed by the Star Wars version with the Dark Side Rising and now we are here at the DC version which is based on a very very dark set of comics I must say. A uh, really good series to follow that onto. This is meant to be a lot darker, a lot more geared towards the older player. Um, so yeah, today we're going to do a quick unboxing. It's literally just turned up, not even opened the box yet so let's dive into that right now. Okay guys, so here we are in the top down cam for the unboxing of the Batman Who Laughs Rising. Apologies, this literally only just fits in camera shot, as you can see. Um, standard, standard box size, very hard for you guys to see, but this game is for 15 plus. Um, for one to four players, interesting, and has a 60 minute playtime. Really, really good game. I love the games that are in the Rising series. I've been really looking forward to this one. And I'm desperately looking forward to checking out the miniature that comes in this one because this one looks to be the best one so far. So, there's a look at the front of the box. Flip it over. And there's a look at the back of the box. As you can see, some uh, really nice artwork on the cards here. More custom dice. We're going to have lots of cubes in here as well. That figure just... Oh, yes. Um, feel free to have a little read of the box there if you want to pause it, have a read, but I can't resist this any longer. We're going to dive into unboxing this game. So here we go. First time I've seen it inside this box. Okay, so first thing we come to is indeed the rule book. Again, fantastic artwork on the front there. Really nice and colourful. Uh, apologies if you can't see that properly. But there we go. We'll have a check of that. So we're, we are expecting four team ability cards, four team deployment tokens, one deployment zone, one miniature, 38 character and hero and villain cards, uh, seven dark knight cards, 32 uh, dark knight's track counters, 60 damage counters, 15 dice and 30 bonus tokens, plus the... Four double-sided four knight's track tiles, nice. One dark knight's die and one Batman who laughs die. Quick little look through there. Again, if you want to pause and have a little read of these, feel free. I'm hoping you can really see what's going on here. A little bit of how the game's played. End of game. Uh, additional rules like it this is good so yeah all pretty good looks really well written uh, I will say all of the Thanos Thanos Rising all of the Rising series has had really good rule books so yeah really good okay so that is your main game board but the back of it really really nice flip it over section one two and three nice and simple Okay, what have we got here? Okay, these are those tiles that, uh, let's just have a look at the name of them again, my apologies. Double-sided Dark Knight track tiles. So this is obviously something very unique to this version of the game. I have not played this game yet. So, looks interesting. Very nice indeed. I'm going to leave that till last because I can already see how much I'm going to enjoy playing around with that. So, all of the tokens, there are the player tokens as well. In there, all your bonus tokens. Nice. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything on the back. Or if there is, it's very, very faint. Like maybe a faint Batman symbol on the back of those tokens. But very nice indeed. And the bottom here. 
Okay, so these are your character cards. As annoyingly, they are a little bit warped where it's been sealed, but I'm pretty sure they should be okay. Let's just open that up carefully. I don't dare to do that with a knife. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's have a quick look at these as to what characters come in the box. Okay, so first one we come to is Wonder Woman, Team Leader. Nice. Four red dice. Uh, I like the fact that when you turn it over, you actually do have a turn order thing here, so that, that's a nice little touch. So yeah, happy with that. Wonder Woman. Oh, my missus will be incredibly happy. Green Lantern as a playable character. One green dice, three red. Nice. Hawk Girl. A yellow dice, three red. And finally, Batman himself, the big man himself. Purple, three red dice. Nice. They seem a bit smaller than the other ones. I don't think they are, but they seem it. Okay. Dice. Ooh, I like these dice. I'm going to have a look. Okay, very, very nice. I don't know if you can see it, but they are actually indented dice. That is a really, really nice touch. Good quality dice. They feel pretty good. They're not weighty, but they feel good in the hand. You'll see all the symbols on there. Pretty clear as to what they are. So I really like these dice. They're probably my favourite ones so far from the Rising series. Really happy with those. Okay, standard cubes. These come in both. Well, in fact, all of the Rising games. Your yellow cubes and your red cubes. Okay, so this dice is, let's check the name, the rule book again. Okay, so this is the Dark Knight's dice. Again, they are indented. So very, very clear. They're going to be very long lasting, durable. That's good. And then final dice is the Batman Who Laughs dice. Ha ha ha. Nice. That is beautiful. I really like that. Indented again. Again, very nice sized dice. Quite weighty. Pretty good. Very happy with them. Okay. Cards. Back of the cards. Very nice. I love this artwork. It's so good. Okay, bear with me while I slice. Let's have a little look through here. Okay, so for any of you that have played the uh, Rising series of games, you will know what the card sort feels like. Very nice. They don't stick together. They are nice in that way. All got the. Oh, we have some different ones. Okay, so these cards. Okay, so these must be your villains of the game. So we have Murder Machine, the Dawnbreaker, the Red Death. The Drowned, the Merciless, the Devastator, and the Batman Who Laughs. Very nice. Uh, judging by their damage as well, they're pretty in line with the other ones. There's a lot less of the easy damage ones, so that could be interesting. Okay, the rest of the cards all have this artwork on the back. Very, very nice. Okay, who we got? Okay, so that is your Wonder Woman character. Superman, The Flash, Cyborg, Plastic Man, Deathstroke, Red Tornado, uh, Dream of Endless, The Batman, Robin, Nightwing, Harley Quinn, Batgirl, Duke Thomas, Red Hood, Constantine, the Green Lantern, Playface, Green Arrow, Aquaman, Hawkman, The Joker, Mr. Terrific, 
Um, is that Mar oh yeah, Martian Manhunter, Hawk Girl, Commissioner Gordon, yes, GCPD Officer, Zatanna, Blue Beetle, Doctor Fate, James Gordon Jr., Alfred Pennywise. Okay, so here these are obviously the the slightly less villains as here. Okay, Evil Robins. Evil Robins, Court of Owls, Court of Owls, String. I can't even read that properly, Stringy Day, and again, that's all the card stock, again, feels pretty good in the hand, uh, Look, I'm really looking forward to playing this game, I'm not going to lie, and finally, the bit I've desperately been looking for, oh, do you know what it even feels better? Just look at that. Look at the evil Robins. Nice bit of detail with the, the real metal chain on there as well. Yeah, they the USAopoly have really outdone themselves with this this one this time now. Just look at it. Absolutely gorgeous, and the paint job on it is really good too. I mean, I can't see any overrun on the paint. I, do you know what? When this game isn't being used, I think this is going to be displayed on my, uh, probably right in front of my PC here. If I'm honest, this is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. Anyway, I'm going to stop looking at this now because. I could be here for hours doing that. Let's just check under the box to make sure there's no additional rules, which there isn't. So there you go, guys. That is the Batman Who Last Rising unboxing, all done and dusted. I'm hoping to get a play of this in very, very soon, even if it is a solo play. We will uh, definitely give you a, a full-blown review on this at some point, either here on the YouTube channel or maybe even part of the Meeple Minded podcast, but yeah, it's already got high marks just just for this miniature. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you will see this at the end of the video. I will have this on my turntable so you can get a nice close look at it. Um, but yeah, short of that, guys, thank you very much for joining me for this unboxing. Please do like, share and subscribe if you did like this video. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike. I have no problem with that. We are a very new channel. We are trying to grow this. We want to give you the content that you want to see. So please just let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, we will see you on the next one. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Jason. You've been watching The Meeple Minded.